My name's uh, Daniel Seekin, and I'm here uh, alongside of uh, TD Bank. And I've been, uh, along with our little group, we started this vigil in front of TD Bank uh, about two years ago, every Friday from 12 noon to 1 o'clock. And the reason why we've been coming here to, to TD Bank is that um, TD Bank is a major contributor towards the um, tar sands that are being dug up out of the ground in western Canada and trying and, and, the, uh, and the companies that are doing this are, are trying to transport it across the country by different means and, and we all know that the uh, the uh, KXL pipeline was was turned down by President Obama, but they keep trying other means of transporting this oil. And so, why are we here at TD Bank? Well, TD Bank has at least two billion, with a B, dollars invested in Trans Canada, which is. Uh, involved in tar sands production in Western Canada. And many of you know probably that there is a big demonstration on the part of 100 Native American tribes in North Dakota. This is, this is called this is called a standing rock. And these tribes are, are protesting uh, the, the construction of the uh, Dakota Access Pipeline across a major waterway that is their source of drinking water and water for their tribes. So these, and this is one big reason why we have such a big demonstration here today is because after two years of, of being out here every Friday, uh, this this is finally gaining a lot of attention, primarily because of these Native American tribes that we are supporting. Um, so uh, there are many many banks that are contributing towards not only the pipeline construction but the production of tar sands oil and also frac gas or methane, which is being transported across the country. So it's very important. Uh, we have a, oh, over 20 people that are out here today uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. And we're going to continue our vigil uh, every Friday uh, from 12 noon to 1 o'clock, as we have been for the last couple of years. And maybe this will go uh, from four to six every Friday, who knows? But a lot more people are coming out and we're glad of that. And it isn't just here, it's uh, many other places across the country. Not only at TD Bank, but other banks that are, that are funding this uh, fossil fuel extreme extraction that is endangering so many of our children and our children's children. Not so much of us today who are alive today but the kids we, we, we got to think about these kids and this oil and the gas is going to release if it's allowed to be continued to be produced is going to allow global temperatures to exceed far above what the scientists predict will be catastrophic in just a few years for life here on planet earth and especially we humans Thank you. Did, did you see the pictures from 
Okay, we're here to protest TD Bank, which is funding the pipeline at Standing Rock. TD Bank is not the only bank that's doing this, but we're here as a symbol of all funding that goes to uh, things like Standing Rock. We're also connecting it with white supremacy and the police killings that have happened. White supremacy is not just brutal police killings of black people on the street, but it's also the funding of things like the pipeline um, on native land that's supposed to be protected. So we're making that connection between Black Lives Matter and environmental rights for everybody um, and the, the down with the corporation. So that's why we're here today. I'm from Brattleboro, Vermont, and I'm proud to be from Vermont. I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud that both sides of my family have sacrificed and served both sides all the way back as far as the American Revolution. And I feel it imperative to honor my own lineage to say whether it's American foreign policy in the Mideast whether it's Black Lives Matter, what, or whether it's the gas pipeline going through the Dakotas and the Native American territory, this is not what my lineage sacrificed and served for. And we need to prioritize. Things are not good as far as environmental. We need to put on we need to put on the brakes. The priority of all world leaders right now needs to be to sustain this planet and all living things, whether it's endangered species that are being poached to death or whether it's people in the Mideast or in the United States or any other indigenous area in the world. We need to evolve. It's arcane. Yes, we started doing this a long time ago, but we, if we're going to survive as a species and as a planet and all living things on it, we need to evolve and war as a form of population control needs to stop. And that's how people profit. That's how the oligarchy profits, and they justify it as a form, a natural form of population control. And we need to evolve war and killing other human beings needs to end, and we need to respect all living things. Thank you.